everyone. Watch the phone ring just as I'm getting started again. Um, it's Tuesday. I hope everyone's doing well. We have some children doing school. I've already been out to the store and picked up the sales paper. It starts tomorrow for Bilo. Um, let's see. Yesterday, this was my list of things to do. I did not do the baking. I gave up on that mid-afternoon. I did not clean under the coffee table or the pile by the wood stove. But I did all of the rest, plus my regular chores. These are the extra chores. So I went ahead and added the wood stove and the coffee table to today's list. So I have put stuff back in the cabinet. James had to move some cabinets for our new stove. And so I had to empty the cabinets. So I need to put the stuff back in the cabinet for that. Wipe out the refrigerator because Tuesdays is kitchen day. Straighten up the pantry and mudroom. Clean off our bedroom dresser. And then do the wood stove and coffee table. This is my extra list. I don't have in front of me my chore list uh, for my regular chores. But I have a few regular chores, of course. So, I thought I would look at the sales paper with you. Now this up here, I am excited about this. Boneless cube steak value pack, $2.95 a pound. You cannot beat that with a stick. I'm telling you, never, 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 never would you ever beat that. $2.95 a pound. Cube steak. Oh. This is something else. Leg quarters, chicken leg quarters, comes in 10 pound bags for 25 cents a pound. Limit four, that'd be two fifty. Four bags would be ten dollars. I want to get those. Let's see what else. Um, that would be a dollar seventy-seven or so a box. I think I can still get it cheaper at Aldi. This is good. Two for a dollar. Vegetables, Libby's vegetables. Of course, you can get that just about the same price at Aldi. But this is the Libby's brand. And they have their eggs on sale again. I thought that was interesting. Okay. And we're going to, Lord willing, we're going to the farmer's market this Saturday morning. If I go, I plan on getting some grapes. You can get those at a good price there. Uh, 50 cents a pound for some sweet potatoes. Um, I just got some pork chops. It looks like they're two fifty. It says save five dollars on two pounds. Hmm. Um now you know I just bought a bunch of meat. These boneless skinless thighs, I got them for like $1.59 a pound. I just made those last night. Not these particularly, but some that I just recently bought that was marked down from Food Lion. So I got them for almost half the price of their, their sale price at Buy Low. That's about $2 a pound for boneless skinless chicken. Spiral cut sliced ham, $1.75. I had just gotten two hams for 99 cents a pound. I got Boston butt in the freezer. I got for, I think, 99 cents a pound as well. I have two of those. Or it might have been cheaper than that. Anyway, it was a Christmas deal. So that's not any cheaper than what I got before. I just got some sausage. Granted, it's not Jimmy Dean. But for a dollar fifty versus three thirty three, I am not complaining.
And I'm thinking about Super Bowl after church on that sun, Super Bowl Sunday in the evening. We could have some finger foods. I don't like armor meatballs. I'm going to make some of my own with some of that ground beef I bought. Oh, this is flour is so cheap. You can make this a lot on your own. Now, pita bread. I've only, actually, I didn't do it. Brittany made pita pockets one time, but... This is something I might would be interested in getting. Um, weekend sale. Ah, huh, here you go. Look at that. That's about what I paid. I paid ninety nine cents. So that's that must be the going rate on ham. It's just the shank portion, though, so if you want the butt portion, you wouldn't get that. $1.80, eighty. I do need to get some Ritz crackers. Now, last week, this same store had these for a two-day sale for $0.50 cents a can. That was good. I didn't get any, though. Scanning through. That's about the same price that Aldi has it. If I had coupons to match, that would be awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and get them at Aldi. The sugar. I am looking, looking, looking. See, I might get some kind of treats like this for the Super Bowl. I'm thinking about just finger foods. and I might do like a cheese ball or something no things are getting boring the front page is always the best now I have coupons for this they would double their 55 cent coupons so it would be a dollar ten so that would make it 240 for the butter, but sometimes they have this buy one get one free. So it's best to wait for this to be buy one get one free because I still have some butter in the freezer and I can buy some margarine to use in its place. Mm hmm. I'm not seeing anything else, y'all. See what's in the back. Because I go on Thursday, it's Tuesday, so I'll have to finalize. Yesterday I worked on the menu some, and I uh, worked on the grocery list some, and that was pretty scary. Sometimes it's hard to keep things low. Storage bags, two ten. Save two ten on two, so that would make it a dollar five each. Storage or freezer. I don't know if I need any though. And they do this quite often, so it's not like I'm missing out, like it's buy it now or lose money kind of thing. See this would still be two dollars for those. That's pretty expensive. Raisin bread for a large family. I will need some breadcrumbs. Buy one, get one. So that would make it 90 cents. There's a recipe in the Pioneer Woman cookbook that I need to try. And this would be cheaper than Aldi. I need to look at the ounces, but... This would be like a dollar sixty-two or so, but I have all of that chicken that I can cook up and make my own chicken instead of out of a can because we like to make those chicken melts. I did think about this, although we are stocked up on ketchup. This is a pretty good price. I, 
but then I really, really, we did that taste test and we really like Heinz the best. So I don't know if we ought to try French's. Who knows? We might like it even better. Oh, we like this. That could be a good Super Bowl food. But, without a doubt, the breadcrumbs. Let's see. The cube steak I'm really excited about. Leg quarters. The can vegetables. I think that was it. Oh, no, no, no. Seems, oh, the pita bread's pretty good. And I will stop in at Food Lion and see what they have and then get the rest at Aldi. So, yep. That does it. Oh, I need to go to Walmart too and get their everything Italian bread out of the bakery. That's really good. So, we have school and we had cereal for breakfast. We're going to have macaroni and cheese and fried smoked sausage for lunch and then supper is hamburger helper I got um, at Bilo their version of hamburger help helpers like the box meal for they had some marked down on clearance for 59 cents a box so I bought some of those and we'll have it with a cheap ground beef and maybe just throw some green beans or broccoli with it and call it a night. So anyway, my plate is full as usual. I'll talk with you later. God bless. Bye.